Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be going over how I made this dragon. But before we get into all that, I'd like to let you know that this video is sponsored by Dragon Mania Legends. And I am so excited and I got no shame, hashtag spons up in here. Dragon Mania Legends is a game that is free to play and available on iOS, Android, and Windows. It is a dragon breeding game where you can collect over 200 different dragons. You can build your own dragon island with tons of decorations and a variety of homes and habitats for your little dragons. You can feed, play with, train, and level up your dragons, which leveling up is important because you can fight boss dragons and other players in the game. Today is actually the release of a brand new Chinese New Year themed update, which is relevant because I am making one of the dragons from that update. Stay tuned because this will also be available as a giveaway. As always, I start with sculpting the head and feet. The clay I prefer to use is called Super Sculpey, but any polymer clay will work just fine. I usually use tin foil as a base for my sculptures, but since this head is going to be rather small, it's not necessarily necessary. I start molding the rough shape of the dragon using my sculpting tools, especially around the mouth and eye areas.
making the feet was pretty easy. I just took two log shaped pieces of clay and attached them to the base, which was also just an odd shaped triangle, and then I shaped them around until I was happy. Once all the pieces were done, I baked them in the oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for roughly 30 to 45 minutes. Once the clay pieces are baked and attached to the armature, it's time to build up the body. To do this, I use quilt batting. It comes in these long sheets that I cut into strips and just wrap around the wire over and over until it's built up to my liking. I tend to build it up just a smidge smaller than I would actually like just because I know the fabric is going to girth it up a bit. After that's done, it's time to cut out the fabric. I lay the sculpture stomach side up and cut a piece of fabric the entire length of the sculpture. I then cut slits for the limbs to slide through, trim it down so it fits nice and snug around the body, and then I'll sew straight down the middle using a basic stitch. I repeat similar steps for the limbs, cut a piece of fabric the entire length of the limb, trim it down to size, and I sew feet first up towards the body. I join the limb and body fabric together using a ladder stitch. I made his little armor plates out of felt. Following the design, I cut the pieces out and layered them on top of each other to give a more raised 3D effect rather than just one flat piece. I'll be the first to admit, I've never painted gold before, and in hindsight, felt will not achieve the shininess that I was going for, but it'll also remain flexible when posing. I start with a bright light gold and gradually add darker colors and hues making the shadows until I was happy with the result.
comes to painting, I use various acrylic paints. For this dragon, he does have a type of metallic vibes to him, so I use a wonderful metallic paint that I happened to come across. But don't think that you have to stick to one brand or the fanciest. You'd be very surprised what you can do with cheaper paint. After the face is painted, it's time to paint the body. I use a dual action siphon feed airbrush for this step. Under the armor of the dragon, he kind of has blue and red undertones to him. As long as you aren't heavy with an airbrush and you don't go over it with too many layers, the fabric will not get sticky or stiff, which is great, which is why I love airbrushing and I, I totally recommend it. wings, I cut out the general pattern of the wing in felt, and then I glue it around wire. Because felt is very porous in texture, the glue attaches and it's very, very hard to remove, so it will stay very secure. I suggest always cutting the piece a bit larger than you need, because you need an extra bit to actually fold over the wire. Make sure when cutting out the fabric, you cut it out as wide as you want the wings to actually spread out when posing it because you, if you don't, it'll stay stuck in a position where you can't stretch it out. After they are attached and secured, I airbrush them in orange and yellow using the same airbrush I mentioned before.
As mentioned at the beginning of this video, there is a giveaway going on for this little dragon. In order to be entered into the giveaway, you must download the Dragon Mania Legends app, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you again to Dragon Mania Legends for sponsoring this video. Until next time guys, bye!